Hi guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the 1999 Toyota Spacio. So the Toyota Spacio is a very interesting car and this is why. The Toyota Spacio is a four-door hatchback that was designed for young people. It's a fun car. This car weighs in, uh, in at about 1.1 tons so it's a very light car and very easy to drive next i'm going to take you around this car and show you the different features of this car we shall start with the front this car has the generic old uh, lights the common lights that we've seen on most toyotas at this point they still had the old logo and the new Toyota Spacios are not any different. This particular car does not have alloy wheels. These are the factory wheels that come with the car. It's quite a good looking car, in my opinion. This is how the Toyota Spacio looks at the back. I would say overall this is a good car and a very light car to drive. It is good for an individual who just commutes from home to work and for touring around the country. It's very economical when it comes to fuel consumption and it is an option most people would enjoy. So the Toyota Spacio comes with a 1.5 liter engine and it is a four cylinder engine. Um, I would say it's a very efficient engine because uh, you, uh, when it's a 1.5 liter you don't spend a lot on fuel so it's uh, economical when it comes to fuel. That's why I'm saying it's good for the young hip guys. This would be a perfect car for those. The Toyota Spacio has um, the basic old system of um, the infotainment system. It is able to play a CD and the cassette tape. You can't get the cassette tapes anymore. But this system, in 1999, those were big. It has an AM and FM channel, so you are able to listen to the radio. It does not come with uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. It, it also does not come with Bluetooth. So if you need to, to listen to content on your phone, you might have to get a Bluetooth speaker. The climate control is very easy to set up. As you can see, just three buttons. And it has the economy mode where you save on fuel and then the normal AC. These are the air vents. The air vents are placed at different points and we have one, we have some down here where the feet are. So when you switch on the, the climate control, you are able to get very good temperatures, even very good uh, temperatures, even where your feet are. Same goes for the passenger. The climate control for the passenger is right there. The other thing I would like to mention about this car is that it has a ton of storage. We'll start with the cup holders. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cup holders. I think this is sufficient. So there's something special that I haven't seen in most cars. This, yeah, you can see, two cup holders. And then... You can pull this further to get more storage, which is very interesting. Yeah, two in one. Okay, so your generic storage, the glove box, we have more storage down here, and then more storage here, here, and the door bins. Every door has a door bin. As you can see even on the passenger's side. So if you are a big music lover, you will notice that there are speakers uh, in the front at the doors. But there's something about this car that is a bit different. There are what looks like speakers down here on the doors behind. But there are no speakers here. Toyota left this for you to, to improve your car and uh, add more speakers if you like. Which I think is nice. 
if they are not putting them there, they should give us the option of putting the speakers ourselves. The Toyota Spatial has a light in front here and it also has one at the back for the passengers and uh, th things in the trunk, in the boot. So you also have the blinds on the passenger side and the blind on the driver's side. Remember these are flexible like in most Toyotas you can remove them and uh, put them on the side just like that if the sun is coming from the side of the car now going to the back of the Toyota Spatio it's actually quite spacious in here I don't know if that is the reason they called it a Toyota Spatio there's not a lot of red of uh, leg room but there's a ton of headroom there's a lot of, of headroom so I think this is perfect and comfortable for long distances so there's a lot of space for feet even when the the chair is fully extended backwards the feet are very comfortable and this this uh, place is able to sit three people comfortably three big human adults comfortably so if we come to the back of the Toyota Spatio you'll see that there's a lot of cargo space a lot a whole lot you can fit a very good number of bags here and there's more down here as you can see in there then the good thing with this is that these seats the passenger seats can fold in front and give you more space behind here I'll demonstrate how first you use this part here of the seat of the lower seat to move it to the front just like this and then you'll notice that this headrest is provided for here so you remove the headrest and then you put it here you place it just here like this and then the next step is to move this uh, back portion of the of the seat to the front so that we get more more space so to get more space in the cargo area so you pull this latch down here it's quite simple to move as you can see and here you're left with a ton of space in the back where you can put your cargo the good thing is that this seat and that seat are separate so you are able to fold one at a time or you can fold both to get even more room behind here if you're carrying luggage and let's say you're going to the airport and you don't want people to see what you're carrying you can cover your luggage using this luggage cover that is provided in the back which is very convenient so let's say you got all this storage and in your mind you're like oh no this is not enough you just come here and remove this cover here when you remove this cover, guess what? More storage down here. So you can also remove this and then you will notice that there's more storage down here. But this is for the spare tire. Uh, this is for the spare tire. And which I think is very conveniently kept inside the car, not outside like most cars. This is uh, good for security reasons and also keeping the tire good in the long run. Hi, Derek here. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more reviews in the future. And if you have a car in the area of Kampala that you would like me to review, get in touch with me uh, via the email below and I'll be happy to come and uh, review your car. Thank you very much. See you next time.